So we've got 2017 coming to an end and I have a lot to be thankful for this year. Um, probably more than anybody could even imagine. Um, but while I was at church this morning, the pastor of the church that I go to, he kind of put two, um, 2018 New Year's resolutions into perspective for me. Um, faith, hope, and love. How simple is that? It's not about running around the block or eating better. It's about having faith in whatever you want to believe in. Um, having hope and obviously love and loving those around you. Um, my 2017 was probably the toughest year of my entire life. Um, today is my four month um, transplant anniversary, my kidney pink anniversary. So four months ago today, um, I was just now, um, I was in surgery. Um, the fact that it was only four months ago and I'm alive and well, I feel great. Um, at the current moment, I only have one minor setback, which they are working on with my medications. I have a virus called BK virus that everyone in the entire world has, but unless you've had a kidney transplant, it lays dormant um, and you'll never know you have it. Um, left untreated in a transplant recipient, it can lead to kidney rejection. Um, I should have my next levels um, back by midnight tonight um, from my latest lab results and um, I know that everything's going to be fine with that. Um, so four months and I'm back to work. I'm up and about. I'm getting ready to run a 5K in February um, for Donate Life. If anyone wants to um, donate to our team, we are Eli's dream team. And the race is in Tampa, Florida. Um, it is sponsored by Donate Life and the LifeLink, Found Lifelink um, Foundation, which is the organ procurement organization that um, assists in finding transplant donors and recipients. Um, if you don't already know how important it is to be an organ donor, um, I'm living proof that checking that box on your driver's license or going to registerme.org um, can truly change somebody's life. I have an entire life ahead of me and in 2017, my goal and my New Year's resolution was to live and was to be alive so that I could spend more time with my son. Um, my perspective has changed um, with my 2018 goals because I hit 2017 and I knocked it out of the ballpark. Um, I think I'm doing um, pretty great for four months since my transplant. Um, there's been a lot of hurdles. There's been a lot of ups and downs. There's been hospital visits. Um, I think one of the most amazing things of 2017 was meeting my organ donor's family. Um, my organ donor, Eli Mayhew, was 15 years old when he passed away. Um, and his family, his um, Grandma Michelle, um, his mother Nikki, Kaylee and KB, his sisters, they have become family to me um, and to Lincoln. And the decision that they made to donate his organs has forever changed my life, has changed my family's life, and I'm, <laughs> I'm just so grateful and so thankful um, that they made that decision. And by signing up to be an organ donor, you can also, um, should you pass, I love you all. I want you all to be here with me forever. Um, but we know in life, um, eventually comes death. And should you pass away, um, make sure that your family knows your intentions, that your friends know your intentions. If you have a will, a trust, whatever you have, make sure the people that are going to be making those decisions know 
um, how important it is to um, donate life and give the gift of life because um, one person can save um, so many lives, eight to 10 to 50 lives through organ transplant. Um, so that's not my main part of this conversation, but it's, um, that is a lot of what I dealt with this year. And going into 2018, um, I have awesome goals. And I have so much that I'm going to accomplish. I'm um, opening a foundation to assist with the costs of organ donors. So that's one of my soon to comes. And everyone will know because we're gonna do a great big charity function, live music, motorcycle poker run. Um, and that will be happening here in the next few months um, to raise awareness for the importance of being an organ donor and also to um, raise money for funeral costs, expenses, um, housing, um, trips when families have to come into town um, for just to help um, help out with the funds of those that have lost someone um, but have given someone else life so that's one of the things I'm doing in 2018 um, I'd also like to thank everyone that helped me through this year um, I spent I don't even know how many days I, I think it was um, 30 to 50 days in the hospital in 2017 um, and everyone that has uh, I can laugh and joke and I can say if you brought me underwear and socks um, and face wash and shampoo um, if you helped shave my legs after surgery um, brought me food carried my laundry up and down the stairs everything that everyone has done for me this year I want to say thank you. Um, I want to say thank you for the phone calls, for the text messages, for the emails, for the Facebook messages. Um, it's amazing when you have amazing people that you're surrounded with, your entire outlook on life changes. When you have a support system that you can trust, that you can lean on, um, Lincoln's dad, um, Brian, I, I thank him and I am blessed that he has been such an amazing father to my son. Um, and every additional task that he's taken on through my life in the past year, he's stepped up to the plate more than I ever could have imagined that he would. And he's absolutely wonderful. So guess what? You can have an ex, you can have a baby with someone and still be cool with each other. Um, we haven't been together in eight years and he's been absolutely amazing. Anything I could possibly need this year, he's stepped up to the plate and helped. Um, everyone that's driven me back and forth to the hospital, everyone that's spent nights or weeks with me in the hospital, um, my friend Sam that flew me to the hospital the day that I had my transplants and my sister that flew into a freaking hurricane. Um, we flew my mom out of Hurricane Irma and flew my sister in to take care of me. So we like, it, my family has been so amazing and my friends are my family. Um, my realtors in my office, they took care of themselves with the help of my amazing, amazing assistant, Nick, and my badass office manager, Tracy, who ran the show while I was in and out. Lincoln, oh, I said bad language. You wanna come say hi? What? What's, we're, we're thanking 2017 for being so wonderful to us. Here, have a seat. What are we doing? Here, look. Oh. Do you wanna say hi? I didn't realize. You didn't realize? No, Lincoln was upstairs playing. So, oh, look, we've got the dog here now too. It's like the family, the family Facebook Live going on. Lincoln, what are you thankful for for 2017? We're just gonna improv here. I life. Think life. Lincoln's thankful for life. And for a nine-year-old in third grade, to be thankful for life, like, amen. Like, that is just, it's awesome. So, 
Lincoln, thank you for being my number one support system okay. for the entire year. And what are we going to do in 2018? Have a good life. We're going to have a good life. It's going to be a good life. From the words of Lincoln Danger. Do you have anything else to say? Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. There you have it. That's, that's my kid. He's going back to play some games before we have some fireworks this evening. Um, so what I'm looking forward to for 2018 is um, I really want to have a positive impact on everybody that's in my life and everybody around me and anything I can do um, to help anyone meet their dreams, their goals, their wishes, um, just reach out to me and let me know. Um, life is not easy. Death is not easy. Um, it, it, like nothing, there, there is no easy path to take. If there was an easy path, we'd all take it. Um, but so one of my main, 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 um, goals for 2018 is to just continue having a positive impact of, um, anyone, everyone, um, and to create more awareness for organ donation. And I have a few other little things up my sleeve that I have planning, um, that y'all all know once they happen, there are a few little teeny tiny bits that a few people know, but, um, 2018 is definitely, um, it's, it's like, I'm, it's almost like I'm starting over. Um, it's like I, <laughs> this is kind of funny. It's like I did a hard reset on my life, like where you delete everything off of your phone, um, and you just reset from the beginning. Um, 2018 is my hard reset on life. Um, on love, on faith, on hope, and it's going to be freaking amazing. Um, yes, Lincoln? What's up? Improve the world and make the world a better place? Yes. Lincoln wants everyone out there to make the world a better place, which um, I know with the people in my life that can happen. So um, I'm going to sign off on 2017. I'll probably post a few pictures later because we're going to golf cart down to watch the fireworks and, and we're going to make some. Yeah, and we've got some fireworks we're going to light off. I'm going to watch Terminators and anything cheesy doodled with some Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, cheesy doodles, and Terminator. That's my boy. Um, so I guess my little um, sign off to 2017 is to. Um, I, I think everyone needs to dream a dream that is bigger than you. Um, it's If you're just about you, if you're just about one other person, that's not enough faith to have. Um, so dream big, dream bigger. Have a bigger heart. Have a bigger heart. Have more love. Um, don't bury good organs. Donate life. And... Um, Eli, rest in peace, is our hero. Um, there you have it. Happy Bye, New Year. Hi, viewers. We're just going to drop that on the ground. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> it won't finish. <laughs>